got my piece here cut out for the radar eye. My first step, I'm going to cut out this little circle that you have here. It's about three inches in diameter. The good thing about R2 building is it's all an experiment, so we're going to try and do the best here. Since I'm cutting into metal, the number one step, and everyone seems to forget it, is you put a little hole before you even drill a pilot hole using a center punch or something that way you have something to drill your pilot hole in and the metal doesn't go skimming around like this so if you can see here try to look at it, I got a small little hole that's right there that I'm going to punch and make it even bigger that way I can drill a 1 8 inch pilot hole which my manual says in my Dremel to do which I'm using a Dremel to cut this out with a bit and that's going to be my first step then we're going to cut the circle out as well as that small little slot that you see that will go right here for the radar eye after that we'll bend this and get it since in since I don't have an awl we're just going to use my screwdriver right there and we'll hope that works As you can see, that certainly did the trick. Let's take our drill. Fits down nice and right there. Seemed to work out well. I'm going to take our Dremel. So my idea with the Dremel didn't work at all. Well, all it did, it just kept going around in circles and circles, and it basically it engraved a small little section that looks like a circle right here. So I think what I'm going to try and do is use my drill press and just slowly go around it in circles with the drill press and see how that works.
now that I've got my piece cut out, I've got my circle right here. It's not the greatest job in the world, but we've got to file out all these round edges right here that I have. Then we'll sand that down even more. I'm going to use my Dremel with this little sand bit on there. Uh, it's going to be at about 2500 RPMs. cut out here it's not too pretty but we can fill that in a little bit with some JB weld we can sand that down or even some Bondo or some resin and that'll look good I'm going to take our circle that I have here I'm going to measure it out one more time just to make sure that that is accurate and that it's three inches and if not I can go around a little bit more and as you can see the uh, sanding tool that I used right here did a very good job of getting that pretty round so once we have the actual dimensions to make sure it is correct for a second time we can start bending this together and making a radar eye out of it. I've got my line that I redrew around here. I had this actually pretty good, so all I'm going to do is just lightly go around this edge until it looks like that line is slowly disappearing. Thank you.